Hey there, Joe Gilder here from HomestudioCorner.com. Pull up a seat, let me tell you a little story. Story time with Uncle Joe. Uh, as you can see in front of me, I am a PreSonus Studio One user. For years and years, uh, I, le- I, I used Pro Tools, right? I have nothing against it. It's a great piece of software. They're a great company. But now I use Studio One. And recently, I was doing a workshop here in Nashville. And uh, the studio we used for the workshop is using Pro Tools. So I was teaching and using Pro Tools to do all the stuff that we were teaching. And that's fine. I'm still, you know, it's like muscle memory. It's like riding a bike. I still remember how to run Pro Tools and uh, was able to jump in and, and do fine. But one thing I, I noticed and that I made me so thankful that I'm in Studio One, and it was the feature I'm going to show you here in this video. Uh, in Pro Tools, let's say if you see this mix here, these blue tracks are my drums, and I've got them routed to a drum bus, or in Pro Tools they call that an aux track. So I can do things like put EQ and compression on them and have one fader for all my drums. Now, the cool thing about Studio One, well, first of all, let me tell you the not cool thing about Pro Tools. So let's say I'm listening to a mix. Now, this is a very early stage recording of a song, so that's only there's really only drums and guitar. But let's say I wanted to solo the drums. I want to listen to what just the drums sound like. Well, in Pro Tools, the only way to do that is to uh, one of a couple things. First of all, you can come through and you can click solo on every single drum track. And then when you're done, you can, I think, hold down option and click them to take it off again. That's not super fun. The other option is you can group the tracks so that when you click solo, it solos. That's pretty easy, except you have to turn the groups off every time you want to do something to an individual track. So let's say I'm mixing, I want to hear the drums really quick and solo, and I'm in Pro Tools. Okay, that sounds great. You know what? I, I want to turn that room mic down. <gasps> oh no! Right? I've ruined the whole drum mix. Not necessarily. They'll all stay together. But now I don't remember exactly where it was. They're all grouped and they're moving together. So in Pro Tools, I have to come over here to the left side. There's a little window here and I click to turn off that group or I might have a key command set up where I press the D button and it undoes my group. And then when the group is undone, let me see if I can turn the group off here. There we go. Then I can come in and I can move individual faders. But that's a hassle to me. I don't want to have to constantly be turning groups on and off to do that sort of thing. And if you come over here in, in Pro Tools and you click on the solo button on your drum bus, it actually mutes out all the tracks. So soloing on the drum bus does nothing. Okay? In Studio One, however, look what happens. A couple things are going on. Here's my bus. If I click here, I can see what tracks are feeding into this bus, which is super helpful. Because sometimes I like to put my buses all the way to the right in my session so all my buses are together. Quickly see what's feeding it there. But also, there's a solo button. Now, in Pro Tools, when you click solo, anything in the session, if you click solo on it, it will mute all the other tracks. That's how it, that's how it achieves solo. In Studio One, however, it's smarter. And it says, if this is a bus and someone clicks solo, I have a sneaky suspicion they want to hear the tracks that are feeding that bus. It doesn't make sense for them to press solo here and for it to mute the tracks that are feeding it. That would mean there's no point in having solo at all. So instead of doing that, since they already have this list telling you what's feeding that track, you press solo and guess what? It automatically goes and solos all the drums feeding that bus. And you'll see over here, it muted my electric guitar and any other, ses- any other tracks in the session like you would expect a solo button to work. So now, bigger picture, I'm working on my mix, and I'm thinking, I want to mute the drums. One click. And then I think, I want to solo the drums. One click. It is that easy. Imagine if you want to do a lot of that over the course of a mix or a session, a recording session, you want to just quickly isolate the drums to make sure you're liking the sounds that you're getting. It's like 15 clicks to make that happen. Studio One brings it down to one little click. I love it. I love it. If that's not a feature you are using, you are missing out. Start using it and then you'll come back and thank me later. Okay, that's it for me. I'm Joe from homestudiocorner.com slash presonus. Sign up there to get more videos on presonus from me. Thanks.